the Anaconda Humane Society, and she's got a lot to talk about today. As always, good morning, Beth. Good morning, Todd. How are you today? Wonderful. It's good to have you with us, too. Nice to be back here. Yeah, yeah. We, we've missed you around these place, this place the last couple of months, but it's good to have you here today. And, and you do. You have a lot to talk about today, Oh, uh, We you? sure do. You know, this is an exciting day. Not only is, uh, our, is school starting for our students here in Indiana, but we've got the Indiana County Fair coming up next mm-hmm. week, and... Um, I am thrilled. We, not only are we always we, we're always at the fair at the grand underneath the grandstand at our booth, but this year we're also going to have our a couple of our rescued horses at the draft horse barn for people to visit. Oh yeah, and learn learn about um, it. We will have Belle, who's a seventeen year old ma- mare, and her filly, uh, who's a four month old, and her name is Tink, and mm-hmm. they'll be there. For, <clears throat> all week long for people to visit. Our humane officers rescued them in May. They were malnourished, dehydrated, in, in dire need of vet, veterinary care. And um, and now they have been uh, under foster care and are healthy and are yeah. available now for adoption. Oh, there you go. There yeah, you go. so we'll be, um, they'll be at the Draft Horse Barn. We'll be underneath the grandstand at our booth. And if people are interested in giving donations they can go to our booth under the grandstand we're looking for not only monetary donations but also uh, uh, food donations specifically triple crown senior feed and neutrina mare and foal uh, feed and also hay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. one of the things about the humane society is um, it doesn't even have to have four legs but uh, if it does have four legs you're certainly going to be uh, working uh, with them um, and and a rescue horse is a whole different proposition, isn't it, than it, a dog or a cat? It, it sure is. It, it, it is. Uh, but what's interesting is, is just what you pointed out. Not only do we rescue dogs and cats, but we certainly do rescue any animal. And, mm-hmm. and in this case, these, these horses, um, they it, it requires a lot. It's veterinary bills, farrier bills. You know, we have to make sure that, that these horses uh, get rehabilitated and uh, become healthier, and and then they can be available for adoption. Yeah, yeah. So folks want to do that, uh, they can help it in so many ways. You've just outlined some of them for us here today. So at the fair booth itself that you'll be operating, uh, normally we're going to see a dog or a cat or two there, aren't we? At, at certain times, yeah. We, we try to yeah. bring our animals around. At certain times, it all kind of depends on the, how hot it is and the mm-hmm. weather and, and, and everything. Um, but we always have games for the children to play. We have information about our shelter, uh, fun games for uh, strip ticket games for adults also. Um, we'll be selling uh, lottery ticket raffle tickets that's our latest raffle that we're mm-hmm. doing right now um it's just a lot of fun i'll be there wednesday night oh yeah yeah yep yeah. there you go yep. there you go hey coming up monday it's national dog day big times for the humane society huh? it is it's so exciting so national dog day on monday is a, a celebration of dogs not just dogs that are rescued from shelters but dogs that are our companions dogs that help us uh, in our community uh, that provide us comfort and we are honored to have been chosen by the Heartland Restaurant Group which is the group that owns over 50 Dunkin Donuts in the greater P- Pittsburgh area mm-hmm. um, uh, as one of the shelters that they're working with on National Dog Day uh, they are giving us a lovely donation they're bringing our shelter dogs uh, bandanas which will uh certainly have uh for people who adopt dogs uh from us um we're offering a special where we're doing half price dog and cat adoptions Mm -hmm. for the next month uh currently we have over 28 dogs at the shelter and well over 100 cats (laughs) yeah um so yeah it's really exciting And, and on national dog day which is monday if you go to the Dunkin' Donuts here in Indiana and go through the drive-in with your dog, they will give your dog a, a, bandana, a bandana to wear. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. That's nice. Uh-huh. That's nice. All right. So National Dog Day. Uh, but you don't have to wait for National Dog Day to adopt a dog. No. You, know, you can adopt a dog anytime. And a cat, too. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Uh huh. Did you hear my story earlier this morning? Uh, they they've done a scientific study and determined that people who own cats are not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear that because yeah. I own two cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your case, I don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm I'm just kidding. But National Dog Day is is coming up, and that that's a a good day to focus upon dogs. But any day uh, for the Humane Society. Uh, is is National Dog Day and National Cat Day and anything else? Furry, Very much so. Furry or feathery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cause for Paws is coming up? Yes, Cause for Paws. This is our 20th year of doing Cause for Paws. It's coming up on September 21st at Blue Spruce Park. And this year, we are actually having our first timed 5K around the lake. Uh, the 5K will go off at 9 Mm -hmm. a.m. Runners and walkers can register online at www.causeforpaws5k.com. Uh, or they can just go to our website, incohumanesociety.com, and uh, get information, print a registration form. Uh, it is $20 to register through tomorrow, oh, Friday, okay. August 23rd, and then after that it's $25. And we encourage people to pre-register, but you can show up the day of the event and register uh, any time between 8 and 8.45 that morning before the race on September 21st. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're also uh, encouraging our supporters to uh, do uh, get pledges and raise money for the shelter through pledge donations. They can find pledge forms at the shelter or on our website. And that day is 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 um, full of activity. We have a huge basket raffle that we'll be doing. There's a kitty corner with crafts and activities. We have a pet boutique. Uh, photos, uh, professional photos by the lake uh, of, of your pets can be t- can be uh, taken. We also will have our pet contest at noon, and um, we'll be awarding prizes for categories such as wi- wildest wag, dress to impress. And best vocal performance. And I already have some dogs in mind who might be winners for those. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. So it's September 21st, <laughs> and it's a great day for to bring the family down to Blue Spruce Park. Bring your dogs. Uh, we just ask that you keep them on leash and uh, have some fun. There will be food available for purchase, and uh, we really enjoy this fundraiser. It's it's always a good time. Yeah, Blue Spruce is just overrun by dogs on that day. Oh, it? yeah. And by it runners, sure too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah, yeah. And that's such a beautiful location. I, I love going out there and seeing uh, people there with their dogs just uh, enjoying the day together, throwing the Frisbee or whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah, yeah. it's a lovely place. We're lucky to have such a great place in Indiana County. So bottom line is uh, through tomorrow, if you want to sign up early, through tomorrow you're going to save yourself 5 bucks. That's right. $20 registration fee for the 5K mm-hmm. uh, through tomorrow. And uh, thereafter it's $25. You don't have to, to be in the 5K to enjoy a walk around the lake with your dog. Mm-hmm. Um, certainly we encourage everyone to get out and have a good time on September 21st at Cause for Paws. Yeah, and you're right. You know, it's it, it used to be that people, when they did race events such as this, they would go out and they get all kinds of uh, donors to pledge uh, a certain amount of money uh, for them to finish their race. Uh, and, and I don't think that happens as much anymore as it should. Uh, but this that's a great encouragement to people to go do that, too. Absolutely. You know, we, we that that's something that's been a part of Cause for Paws for, forever, the, the, the pledge forms. And, and, you know, we are so dependent on donations to the shelter in order to, well, to literally keep our doors open. We're and and we need these funds uh, to meet our operational costs and uh, serve Indiana County as best as we can with our open door policy shelter. A couple of minutes left with Beth Finnegan from the Indiana County Humane Society. I want to talk about this uh, PNC Bank um, grant that you got. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah. So, we have a fabulous team of grant writers, and they found a grant uh, through PNC Bank that um, we got uh, to to train our staff and our shelter dogs uh, in obedience training. Mm-hmm. So, so not only is this a, a very positive reinforcing way for us to continue to work with our shelter dogs, but it makes it so when you come to the shelter and adopt a dog, 
these dogs have have already had a, a nice uh, array of obedience training. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow, actually, we have Laura coming from the Wolfgang uh, dog training group, and she is going to be at the shelter all day long working hmm. with our staff. Four-Footed Friends also is going to be there with mm-hmm. some of their staff. And um, this is the first of a series of training programs um, uh, you know, to help teach us uh, proper dog obedience training. Yeah, yeah, makes the dog more adoptable, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And 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 plus, you know, you you want to have a a shelter w- where the dogs are calm, mm-hmm. and and you know, there's not dogs can get very stressed in 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 their in a shelter situation. So anything we can do to make it such that that there's you know, a little more peace in the valley in the in the, in the shelter. We we will do it, Absolutely. and this is really great, also for our staff. Yeah, yeah. The cats appreciate it too when the dogs are calm. You know, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and over a hundred cats. You know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's just adoptable cats. We yeah. have a, over a hundred also that are in isolation. Um, and uh, you know, not on the adoption floor. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, yeah. it it's outstanding, and the, just a total array of cats, ages, breeds, temperaments. It's wonderful. We, we just it. really encourage everybody to come out and and visit with them, not only for the socialization aspect, but also to hopefully mm-hmm. help them find a forever home. There you go. That's that's a great idea. All right. So all of that is happening. The fixing wagons coming too. Yep, the Fixin' Wagon is coming. The next one's on September 20th. And so people that are interested in getting their cats spayed or neutered can visit the shelter um, before September 20th. Uh, The shelter, of course, is located at 191 uh, Airport Road, and they just have to fill out uh, a registration form and pay $65, which gets their cat spayed or neutered, uh, a series of uh, vaccines, rabies vaccine, um, and then there's also uh, flea and ear mite treatments that are are given to the, the cat. So uh, this is what I did with my my latest adopted cat. Mm-hmm. I, I I adopted her, and a few weeks later, she was fixed uh, at the fix and wagon, and it was a, a great process. So yeah. easy way to to take care of spaying and neutering your cat, and helping us control the population here of cats in Indiana County. See Beth Finnegan and all the other folks from the Humane Society at the Indiana County Fair next week. You bet. Thanks, Beth. Thank you so much, Todd. It is the voice of Indiana County WCCS AM eleven sixty and one hundred one point one FM.